to hold a mock results day assembly this morning because we wanted to give the year 11s a taste of what it could feel like, feel like in August. We wanted them to have a little bit of an early flavour of what success feels and tastes like and we also wanted to give them the chance to have an influence on what the results will actually be. There is a real purpose in today. First of all, it's to give you a flavour of what the atmosphere might be like. It's interesting, I've just had a few conversations with individuals and I can tell you there are several people who are really excited. Excited and nervous, excited because you want to see what kind of things you got and but nervous as well to see if you've passed or if you haven't done as well as you thought you would have. I thought it'd be a lot more calmer than that. I didn't realise I wouldn't be as excited as I were to find out the results. Yeah, it was very exciting. Yeah, but well, the tension just got to my head. <laughs> we had a big push in September. We, we've got an initiative called Believe to Achieve. And basically it's about ensuring that all our Year 11s reach their full potential. So raising their aspirations, motivation, um, making them more confident within themselves, determined to achieve what they can and like I said, just be the best that they can be. I'm taking um, English in college and I've got a good grade but I really want to push that A star so I'm going to really revise half that. I weren't expecting to have like B's in my maths so it's a really big shock to know that I have got a B and I'm quite proud of myself for getting a B so I definitely think I can get higher. I was a bit shocked because I thought I could have done better in math so I'm going to go to revision lessons and do better so I can improve on my results. Yeah, it's built up my confidence knowing that I've got some good grades already. <laughs> Seriously kids, I know that you're going to do really well, I know that you've worked your socks off. Always remember those teachers that were behind you as you worked your socks off and they encouraged you. Do it for your parents, do it for your grandparents, do it for your sisters and brothers, but most of all, do it for your dog. Thank you.